Hey guys, what's going on? It's Doconic here, and today we're going to be going over all the new cards that are available on the Super Saiyan 4 banners, including the two cards that get new Doken Awakenings along with the Super Saiyan 4 events. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the content that I provide here on my channel, don't forget to hit that like button, and also don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications, that way you get the most recent and up-to-date information about Dragon Ball Z Doken Battle delivered directly to you. Thank you, enjoy the video, and have a great day. Alright, so let's start off. The first one is Furious Girl Pan GT. Her leader skill is Agility and Physical Type Key plus 1, HP Attack and Defense plus 25%. Her super attack is Kamehameha, causes supreme damage to the enemy, and attack plus 20% for all allies for one turn. Her passive skill is Like Mother, Like Daughter, Attack and Defense plus 25% for all allies when HP is 30% or above. And her link skills are All in the Family, The Saiyan Lineage, Battlefield Diva, GT, The Innocence, and Kamehameha. She has a 12 key multiplier of 130%, and she Doken Awakens with 35 Super Saiyan 4 Goku medals. Now, she Doken Awakens into Talents in the Blood Pan GT. Her new leader skill is Agility and Physical Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 30%. Super Attack is Kamehameha, causes supreme damage to the enemy, attack plus 25% for all allies for one turn. Her passive skill, As Brave as Daddy. Attack and Defense plus 30% for all allies when HP is 30% or above. Her link skills are Fierce Battle, The Saiyan Lineage, GT, Battlefield Diva, The Innocence, Kamehameha, and All in the Family. Her max stats are HP of 98-97, Attack of 75-99, and Defense of 49-10, and she has a 12 key multiplier of 135%. Now this card, she's a little bit underrated, she's really good on a mono physical team, and on a mono heroes team she can be useful. Uh, it's really that passive skill attack and defense plus 30% for all allies when HP is 30% or above. Uh, you rarely go under 30%, and attack buffs are super useful if you're running really powerful cards, especially if you have a 120 leader. If you have that 120 leader, you're getting the 120 buff from each end, assuming you're running a double 120 lead, and then it makes the 120s or whoever's on the, the field, the hard hitters, hit even harder. I believe that there was an actual Reddit post. I don't have it in front of me. I don't know where it is. I need to look it up. It states that you will actually do overall more damage with a card that gives you an attack buff over a card that's a hard hitter. So don't take her lightly, she's super, super good monophysical hero team. The next card we're going to talk about that's available on both banners is Unshakable Resolution Super Saiyan Trunks GT. His leader skill is Strength and Tech Type Key plus 1, HP, Attack and Defense plus 25%. Super Attack is Buster Cannon, so it causes supreme damage to the enemy and lowers defense. His passive skill is Focused Power. Attack plus 80% when performing a super attack. His link skills are Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Golden Warrior, Cold Judgment, GT, and Prepared for Battle. His max stats are HP of 89.24, Attack of 80.99, and Defense of 42.63. His 12 key multiplier is 130%, and Hidoken Awakens with 35 medals from the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta event. Now, Hidoken Awakens into Brains and Brawn combined Super Saiyan Trunks GT. His leader skill is Strength and Tech Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 30%. His super attack is Buster Cannon, causes supreme damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. His passive skill, Concentrated Power, Attack plus 100% when performing a super attack. His link skills are Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Golden Warrior, Cold Judgment, GT, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. His max stats are HP of 9227, Attack of 8269, and Defense of 4398, and he has a 12 key multiplier of 135%. Now this card's really good because in t he doesn't have an immense damage modifier, but he has a lot of useful links. First off, he's a GT card, and if you're running a Super Saiyan 4 Goku lead, GT is really good link. He has Prepared for Battle and Fierce Battle, and Fierce Battle's super good for making everyone who actually is a Doken exclusive character, or Doken Awakens with the specific medals from Doken events. Uh, gives him that nice buff, attack buff. Uh, he has Super Saiyan as well, which is also really good. Now, the one good thing about him that I really like is his passive skill, attack plus 100% when performing super attack. So not only is he linking really well, he's hitting really hard. I actually uh, checked it up. I know on an optimal hero strength team, you're going to want to have the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Well, just for comparison measures, I actually did the math on it. About super attack 6 of both him and that Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, by that time, they're still both doing about the same amount of damage. Um, once you get past Super Attack 6, that, uh, that Gohan actually starts doing more damage, out damages him because he has that immense damage modifier. But before you get to Super Attack 6 with that Gohan, he's actually doing a little bit more damage than that Gohan. 
I figured I'd just bring that up in the video because I want to let you know that this is a very useful character. He's really good for an optimal mono strength team when you're running a Super Saiyan 4 Goku at this point in time. Today's date is July 8th, by the way, so July 8th, 2017. So if you are running this about a year in the future, things might have changed. Uh, the next card we're going to go over is the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Now, because I already went over in depth in his actual event analysis, the full card, including his Doken Awakening, we're only going to go over his final form here. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the, at the end and in the description below. If I forget to leave a link in the description below, please let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and post it. So, his Doken form is Ultimate Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. His leader skill is Super Strength Type Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 120%. Um, extreme Strength Types are Key plus 1, HP attack and defense plus 50 percent his super attack is 10 times kamehameha causes immense damage and defense plus 30 percent for six turns his passive skill is warrior of the galaxy attack plus 150 percent medium chance of evading enemy super attack and countering with tremendous power his link skills are super saiyan saiyan roar prepared for battle shocking speed kamehameha gt and fierce battle his max stats are HP of 11,333, attack of 11,456, and defense of 4,514. He also has a 12 key multiplier of 150%. So obviously he is the 120 strength leader. He is super useful and his best buddy to pair with, we're actually going to go over that in a second, is going to be the Super Saiyan 3 Kid Goku from GT after you Doken Awaken him. This card is super useful, and after about two or three super attacks, that de defense buff, once he gets up to 60% or higher, he starts really, really tanking hits, just like the Super Saiyan 4 Vegito that I'm about to go over. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Unparalleled Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. His leader skill is Agility, Super Agility Type Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 120%, Extreme Agility Type Key plus 1, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. His super attack is Final Shine Attack, causes immense damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. His passive skill is Another Secret Strategy, attack and defense plus 120%, medium chance of evading the enemy's super attack and countering with tremendous power. His link skills are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Roar, Prepare for Battle, Shocking Speed, Saiyan Pride, GT, and Fierce Battle. His max stats are HP of 11,715, attack of 10,538, and defense of 5,470. He also has a 12 key multiplier of 150%. Now like the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, as I, I didn't mention earlier, I didn't go over his, his other form. Both of them require 77 medals of their respective type from their own event. So make sure you have to do that grind, it's going to be pretty difficult if you don't have optimal units. One thing I did want to say between the two of them, that Super Saiyan 4 Goku, he does hit a lot harder than the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, he has a 30% extra attack buff. But that Vegeta tanks a lot better. The Vegeta actually has about almost a thousand more to his defense. And then when he launches his super attack or his passive skill, it gives himself another 120% defense. So it takes that Super Saiyan 4 Goku to get a little bit until he actually gets the same amount of defense as that Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. But he is still a very useful unit. Both of them clear 1 million when you have him at Super Attack 10 and a little bit of dupe system is involved. So... Without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the two units that actually receive Doken Awakenings. Now, I'm not going to go over the full cards of their base forms, just to save some time. So, let's go ahead and talk about it. The first card we're going to talk about is the Ultimate Aspiration Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT. Can you need 35 Super Saiyan 4 Goku medals in order to Doken Awaken him? When he Doken Awakens, he Doken Awakens into Inklings of the Ultimate Power Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT Golden Giant 8. That's a really long title. His leader skill is Strength Type Attack plus 33% per Strength Key Orb obtained. His Super Attack is Super Kamehameha, causes supreme damage to the enemy and raises attack for 3 turns. His passive skill is the Tail Returns Attack plus 33% for all allies, and he may turn into a Great Ape. And his Link skills are Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Limit Breaking Form, Over in a Flash, GT, Saiyan Roar, and Fierce Battle. His max stats are HP of 9320, Attack of 8008, and Defense of 4677. He has a 12 key multiplier of 130%, and this is the card, this token Winkin version of him. This is Super Saiyan 4 Goku's best linking buddy. He hits off all of his main links, and he makes that Super Saiyan 4 Goku hit for about 1, for 1 million to 1.5 million almost all of the time. Um, that leader's goal, also, if you do not have that Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and let's say you don't have the LR Broly or the Agility Majin Vegeta, if you have the OG Broly, 
this is the card that you want to run as a leader during the world tournament. His leader skill of strength type attack plus 33% per key orb obtained or strength key orb obtained makes that OG Broly hit really hard when you have a key, a field full of key orbs. Now, granted, you'll probably either need to have a whole bunch of key manipulating items or a whole bunch of key support units in your team in order to make this happen, but you can clear the 20 time multiplier if you allow this to go. Now, the next card we're going to talk about is very similar, but we unfortunately, we do not have an AoE on the intelligence side at this point in the game. So, the next one we're going to talk about is the Revenge Exacted Super Baby 2. Now, again, like the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, we're not going to go over the base form of the card. So, we're going to go ahead and just say that he needs to Doken Awaken with 35 Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta Medals. When he Doken Awakens, he Doken Awakens into the Rampaging Vengeance Super Baby 2, Giant Ape. His leader ability is Intelligence Type, Attack plus 33% per Intelligence Key Orb obtained. His super attack is Revenge Death Ball, Supreme Damage to the Enemy, and Lowers Attack. His passive skill is Blood's Waves of Hatred. Attack plus 100% when HP is 30% or above and may turn into a grade 8. His link skills are Thirst for Conquest, Metamorphosis, Saiyan Roar, GT, Hatred of Saiyans, Big Bad Bosses, and Fierce Battle. His max stats are HP of 8947, Attack of 8232, and Defense of 4584, and he has a 12 key multiplier of 135%. Now this guy, as stated earlier, is a nuke type leader. And he does hit really hard with that passive skill of attack plus 100% when HP is 30% or above. He also has that really good uh, passive skill on his super, which is lowering attack. But I did want to state that he is really good on a mono villains intelligence team. He has Thirst for Conquest, Metamorphosis, and Big Bad Bosses, and Fierce Battle. He has four really good links, the top links being Big Bad Bosses and Fierce Battle, the next link being Metamorphosis, which is really good, especially with Janemba. If you have him paired with Janemba, and I believe Buhan, they actually heal, I believe it's a 5% heal, so that's really useful. And Thirst for Conquest is on a couple of cards, primarily it's on the Freezer Race cards, but he, it, but that is on a couple other cards, I believe the Turles, the Intelligence Turles has it, so that makes it useful. Yes, the Intelligence Turles does have it. So that does come into play, and it is pretty useful. But that's it, guys. That's all the cards that are on the Super Saiyan 4 banners, at least the new ones and the ones that received Doken Awakenings. I hope that was helpful and informative for you. Thank you for taking the time to come by and watch my video. Hit that sub button if you're new here, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.